XAI is probably the most aggressive AI companies among other frontier labs that we have today. Considering that XAI was founded in March 2023, which makes them only two and a half years old, they're not only on par in competing with more dominant players like OpenAI, Gemini, and Anthropic, but XAI is also one of the most hated companies in the world. I'm going to explore the current state of XAI and analyze their stance in their AI industry and why XAI is different from their competitors. A quick shout out to Woven sponsoring this video and more on them later. So let's start with XAI's training facility in Memphis, Tennessee called Colossus. XAI's Colossus facility began construction in Memphis in May 2023. Instead of building from scratch, they repurposed a factory that makes home appliances to now a 785,000 square feet AI training facility. And XAI was able to complete the initial build out in just 122 days. And they filled this facility with 100,000 GPUs to start with. And with this freshly built AI training facility, XAI started to train their Grok 3 model with 80,000 H100 GPUs, utilizing 80% of their full capacity to train Grok 3. And since then, the Colossus facility expanded from its original capacity of 100,000 GPUs, and they now doubled it in just three months to now 200,000 GPUs. And XAI is targeting to go beyond 1 million GPUs by 2026 and 2027. Now, you might be looking at this and wondering, is this all that necessary? This just seems like an overkill to be using so many GPUs for a simple chatbot. Here's where it gets crazy. Each H100 GPU markets for about $25,000 per unit. So XAI's current capacity in Colossus of 200,000 GPUs requires an investment of $5 billion in GPU equipment alone. So this raises a critical question. Why do we need this many GPUs in the first place? Let's use XAI's Grok 3 as an example. Grok 3 was released in February 2025, but before the release, it needed training. Grok 3 model needed more than 10 to the power of 26 flops or 100 septillion floating point operations. And here are four options at varying scales of GPUs. At 1000 GPUs, you only need to spend about $25 million in GPU expenses, which is somewhat manageable considering the fact that you're trying to build state-of-the-art models. But because Grok 3 requires more than 100 septillion flops, having 1000 GPUs to train Grok 3 will likely take you more than three years just for pre-training. And we know that the AI industry moves at an increment of three to five months between major releases from other frontier labs. So having only 1000 GPUs is just not that feasible. And if you pair that with the fact that there are a growing number of frontier labs releasing models in their own timeline, you'll likely see major model releases every month. Okay, what about 10,000 GPUs? In this case, your investment on GPU is $250 million. So 10x the investment from 1000. And training time for Grok 3 is now looking at around one year. This seems like a decent compromise in cost and training time, but it's still not moving fast enough. And committing one model to train for an entire year is a huge risk since model architecture also innovates really fast and you need to be agile in training the next model without waiting for the previous build to finish. So now we're at 100,000 GPUs, which is where the Colossus facility initially started as. The GPU cost is now at $2.5 billion. And the training time for Grok 3 is now closer to around 100 days, which is roughly the same timeline that XAI shared on their website for Grok 3. And finally, at 1 million GPUs, you need an investment of around around $25 billion. And now training Grok 3 starts to look more like in a matter of days to weeks rather than months. This is the direction that most Frontier Labs are heading towards, where you can have millions of GPUs dedicated to train models to innovate at a faster rate. And for XAI's case, they're currently at 200,000 GPUs, but aiming to get to 1 million GPUs in the near future. So as you can see, this is the price of admission to even start competing against other Frontier Labs like OpenAI and Gemini, meaning to compete against other Frontier your labs, you need to have either a lot of capitals to purchase GPUs to train models faster or have better architecture to reduce the amount of operation that's needed to train the model. And honestly, probably both rather than either. But compared to other frontier labs, XAI still hasn't really found its fit in the marketplace. XAI doesn't have a moat when it comes to market adoption for Grok and other frontier labs have a strong grip on the consumer side. For example, OpenAI has a huge moat with ChatGPT that boasts 700 million weekly active users and is now pushing into coding use cases with Codex CLI and GPT-5 Codex. Similar things can be said for Google and Gemini, where they have a huge moat in their existing ecosystem of Google products, as well as search and YouTube. Meta also has immediate access to mainstream products like Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook. And Anthropic also has a strong grip in the coding market with Cloud Code. And for XAI, the market share of chatbots, Grok has less than 1% share, which goes to show how little moat they have in the consumer end. 
demand. And despite all this, XAI is still the most aggressive AI companies that burns a lot of cash to stay relevant in the AI industry. And one of the most common critiques towards XAI is that they are fighting a losing battle. But that depends on what measuring tape we're using on XAI. If we are measuring XAI by their ability to reach broader market adoption, XAI certainly trails behind compared to their counterparts given their lack of moat. And it can be easy to discredit XAI because Grok models haven't really proved itself useful in the real world beyond the benchmarks. But if we look at it from the perspective of what the ultimate North Star for all Frontier Labs is, which is artificial general intelligence, things start to look a little bit different. As far as we know, humanity certainly hasn't achieved AGI just yet, but we're getting closer than ever before. So from that perspective, the question is which company is best positioned to achieve AGI first? The truth is innovating new AI models is a money losing venture for practically all Frontier Labs, though even this is starting to change with what Chinese labs are cooking with. But the point remains that when it comes to training AI models, broadly speaking, the math doesn't math. So the obvious and natural question is this, why bother pursuing a money losing venture? In other words, if XAI is constantly bleeding money without any moat, what's the whole point of trying to spend billions and billions of dollars to compete with other Frontier Labs? Here's another interesting angle to consider. If all Frontier Labs put their tools down today and only use the AI models that they already have available, the math actually does start to math. In other words, while training AI models are money losing ventures, the unit cost of actually providing them as a service is actually a profitable business. For example, DeepSeek R1 model is believed to have a cost profit margin of 545%, which certainly lends itself as a worthwhile business venture. And pursuing a business venture requires you to have the right talent, which is why I wanted to bring up Woven, who's sponsoring this video. I've been looking to hire a software developer in my previous company, and one thing I always found was that candidates always had different skill sets, and some people were really good at code reviews, and others were good at system debugging, and now with AI, agentic programming. So coming up with coding evaluations for each role took a lot of time and effort to build scenarios and give feedback. It just wasn't fun for everyone involved in the process. Woven is a human-powered technical assessment tool that makes hiring streamlined. So if you're looking to hire engineers, Woven is offering 14 days free trial with 20% off of your first hire. Check the link in the description. So even though Frontier Labs can just stop innovating newer models entirely and make money off of what they already innovated, the reality is that no Frontier Labs in their right mind will ever put their tools down because the AI race is all about getting the next best thing until someone either runs out of money first or achieves AGI first. So essentially, the AI race is starting to look more like the game of chicken where you either run out of money last or you achieve AGI first. So given this rule of the game, the ultimate question isn't when will XAI turn profit, but rather what company is best positioned to achieve AGI first? In other words, which company will likely run out of capital last while achieving AGI first? Let's look at the capital side first. OpenAI by far has access to most capital and public backing. Their recent green light from administration to build out a massive AI training facility, Stargate, is supposed to be valued at up to $500 billion in investment. While there are speculations that Stargate investors are growing skittish on actually funding this venture, it goes to show the raw financial backings that OpenAI has access to in comparison to other frontier labs. Meta and Google also have deep pockets by the sheer fact that they are part of a company valued at trillions of dollars in market cap. In comparison, XAI is raising capital left and right through the mix of debt and equity. Their debt structure is either backed by assets or leasing their chips at cost. XAI has gone through series A, B, and C, each round bringing in figures of six to eight billion dollars basically every five to six months. And the company is now considered to be valued at more than 200 billion dollars. And so if the path to AGI is going to take, say, another five to 10 years, the question is, will Elon Musk continue to find ways to raise capital along the way and not have to fold his hands. Given Elon Musk's track record, getting public attention and translating his controversy into raising capital will likely not going to be the bottleneck. But rather, does XAI have the raw ingredient that's needed to achieve AGI in a technological sense? Since Grok 3 was released in February 2025, there certainly was a slow shift in how people viewed Grok's capabilities. So there are still some skeptics on both sides. And with Grok 4 and Grok 4 Fast, Grok is starting to gain even more favor by 
by the public. And Elon Musk has been signaling that Grok 5 has a decent chance in achieving AGI. So the ultimate question is this, if humanity has a chance of achieving AGI, how much money do we bet on this chance? So far, XAI has raised tens of billions of dollars and pushed aggressively in building out Colossus 1 and 2, and now the company is valued at $200 billion. Is this all just par for the course that we ought to assume, given that what's waiting at the end is ultimately AGI? Or is AGI just a pie in the sky and Frontier Labs should rather focus on hedging their bets in case AGI is unattainable and rather focus on applying the AI models along the way to disrupt domains like healthcare, coding, military, and more?